Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me Oxfu and well a good day for let's playing it definitely is. Well, first let's grab out our boomerang because like rock paper no Mario says accept no substitute. But anyway um yeah good day for let's playing it definitely is because pretty much got the house to myself so now are we missing anything. Uh yeah, there's a couple things we gotta go back to the beginning to get before we can move on to the boss, but... Oh yeah, but the rest of my, um... family is off at the moment. They're going to, uh... my... sister's boyfriend's... black sash testing for kung fu, so... You know, interesting enough. I can never remember... Oh, you know what? That's why. That's why I can never remember why I can't move from this room over there. We gotta go through there a different way. Which we do have to do before we meet the boss, just to make things easier, but... It's not as big a deal. Actually, you know what? Um, just to make matters quicker... We are going to leave... The... The dungeon for a little while. Because now that we have the power... No. Now that we can hit start, and now that we have the power bracelet, we can go up here! And that'll bring us to the rooms that we are missing. No, get down there, you moblin. Somebody said you could climb those vines. And this just gives us a gash of seed, but we'll use it a little later. What we really wanted to do is come in here. Now, as you can see, we're in that room we couldn't get to earlier. Ow. Owie. And this is... Okay, I gotta... Before we go in there, I've gotta buy bombs from this guy. And you'll see why. Greetings, here's a deal. Ten bombs for 30 rupees. Yeah, I've got enough. I've got way too many rupees. So... Now, the reason we need those bombs is that we need to get to the... The inside of this level very quickly. Because this chest runs off of a timer. If you don't get it in time then you don't get the chest. It'll disappear. And w basically the trick to the doing this is to get the bombs ready before you're gonna throw them. That's pretty much all there is to it. And there we go. I usually have a much harder time getting that chest because I always forget about it. But... I can never remember if there's a secret shortcut. There's... In a few dungeons, there's a few secret shortcuts to get through puzzles like this, I think, but... Oh, it's so weird, because I switched around my, um, recording setup a little, so not only am I hearing video playback through... Well, not th not through, um... As you can see, these are the other rooms that we were missing. But not through the TV like I would usually, but because I'm downstairs, I'm doing it through my computer. But not only am I doing it through my computer, I'm doing it through my headset as well! Craziness! Um... It's just weird. Because I can hear myself talking at the same time. But anyway, we're gonna go this way! Of course we're gonna go this way, you can see me doing it on screen! Let me just rem see if I can remember where we're going. This one always... This dungeon always confuses me, because I can never remember where we are and where we've been. Because, like I was complaining last time, I think, they don't show the underground routes or the... They don't really show you where the entrances are to the dungeon, either. Like, as you can see, there, there's nothing showing that we just came into that those two rooms from... Well, from... The, the surface world. So really hard sometimes just to figure out what you're supposed to do. Alright, and... Oh, come on, we gotta kill off you guys again. But yeah, um, I decided to stay home because I... Guess where I'm going next week? I finally got that... That, that um, Madoka panel at Otakon is finally coming up. And it's finally time for it. Oh, yeah, I completely passed right by this. I think this gives us a small key, which we're gonna need. Or, no, we finally get the compass, that's right. <laughs> you know, last item we're getting in the game besides the boss key. Actually, do, have we gotten the boss key? It doesn't 
to show us. Oh well, I guess we haven't gotten the boss key. Well, we're gonna be getting that next. Let's just hop ahead. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can do these next few rooms. You do have to um, keep it in mind that you do have to get something. I'm just gonna open these quick, because one of the ways you can do it is by bust busting down this wall. And you have to come in here and take out all these guys with bombs. Oh, shoot. Fortunately, all those bushes next to them will give you a bomb, so you'll never run out of ammunition. But we need to go this way. And I'm just going to show you. Basically use a boomerang to take care of those guys. Boomerang! I love you so much. Um, Alright, this is the puzzle that I'm talking about. The wheel. But we're not going to deal with that right yet. Because before we do any of that, we have to go this way. Because as you heard the... As you heard the as you heard the chime go off, there is a treasure in here, right up there. That is the boss key, which we need to get before we go any farther. And basically, pretty much the easiest way is just to go straight. Ah, the straightforward way. I say easiest, I mean hardest, of course, because I can't stay on top of this thing for more than five seconds. An item we get later on in the game would be supremely useful, but that's the next dungeon. And we got the boss key! Which means now, there's two ways we can go. We can either play around with that wheel, or we can go back to that room I showed you earlier. Which I am going to do, because I just don't do it often enough. And I don't know why I found it such a headache to do this back when I was a kid, but not this part, because this part's still a headache. Because the, the boomerang doesn't work on them. And the boomerang is the easiest way to hold things still while you're using bombs, of course. Uh, but I can't find... I don't know why I found the, uh... The whole wheel part. The whole wheel puzzle to be so difficult when I was a kid. Because looking at it now, it's pretty simple. Oh. Okay, whatever. We're going to get more bombs anyway. Just go into this room. I, n I don't know why I never... It, never occurred to me how easy it was. Obviously, we're going to run into those more, because it's not going to be a one-time thing. They don't really usually do that in Zelda games. When the mouth opens, a tag from within, then superhuman strength will prevail. Basically, what we're going to fight is going to be a very familiar... boss. And we actually are not going to be using the sword at all in this fight. Uh, well, we will, just to take out these guys, because they get pretty annoying if you don't take them out right away. And, well, we're full health, so let's get let's get going. And take on the boss. And, well, he's a Dodongo. So just toss in there, and then toss him on the spikes. Easy as that. You gotta hit him, like, five times, I think. Oh, come on. Oh, you were opening your... <laughs> What were the chances of that? He was actually opening his mouth when I threw the bomb at him. Nope, okay, and he will do the charge thing, just run out of the way. And I suppose I should show you what happens if you don't throw the bomb in his mouth before he starts doing it. He will... Well, if I can get out of the way. He will start shooting fireballs at you. But again, it's all linear paths, so this guy's really easy to take care of. He's prob- Oh, no, 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 no! Shoot! I didn't want to do that. He's probably one of the easiest bosses to actually take care of. Okay, we do need some more bombs. That's why these flowers are here! Give us some easy ammunition. Come on, come on. No, I want you to open your big fat mouth. So I can feed you with explosive... Explosive appetizers give you ex no I'm not even going there <laughs> um shoot oh okay I can actually hit you from there that's that's better than I thought and he's taken care of fortunately they don't give you the heart piece in the spike pit and we got a our what was that the second heart container so now we have five hearts We're ready to go get the essence of nature
references. You got the gift of time! An essence of nature, seeds sprout as seasons change with the gift of time. I think this is definitely some of my favorite vic victory music from any Zelda game. But anyway, we get the Meku Tree again. Let's get ready with our local cards. Thank you, Alex. I, too, received part of the gift of time. I just dreamt a small swamp out west. Something is afoot there. But I can see no more. Oh, <sighs> so tired. Alright, so it looks like we're headed to the west. Westward ho! Is there anything else we can grab right now? Nope. Yes, those mushrooms you saw back there are another obstacle which we will be dealing with later. And guess what? We're running into... Uh, what's her name? Maple, so... Enjoy the music, but we also have an important quest item to give her. The lawn lawn egg. Ouch! Watch where you're going! You just hit Maple, the Great Witch Syrup's apprentice! I can't remember what voice I gave her. Oh my! Oh my! That's one of those lawn lawn eggs that are all the rage with the girls now. I... it's just what I'm looking for. You're a boy! You don't need it. I'll give you my doll for it. And you traded the egg for a ghastly doll. Looking at it gives you chills. This makes up for you when you're bumping into me. See ya. You want to make sure that you get the, um... Lawn Lana egg from Malon before you... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need a tree stump so we can freeze that over. You want to make sure that you get the... What was it called? The Lawn Lawn Egg from Malon before you go and try to go to School Swamp because... The creepy doll... We actually trade before we head into the actual Spool Swamp, so it's just easier to get rid of before you head in. It's just re easier to get rid of if you grab it before you go into Spool Swamp. And let's see... Take care of this guy. Oh, cool. I didn't even mean to throw it on him. But yeah, I I can't I can't stress enough how much I love Maple in, the, in this game. I mean, I don't know why. I just realized she really reminds me of Tonks from... Um, the Harry Potter series, but I didn't know that to begin with because I, I just actually read the 5th, 6th, and 7th book in sorry, the music <laughs> in um anticipation of the last movie coming out, so but yeah but now that I realize it, it's just something about her that reminds me of Tonks, it might just be the physical appearance I, I know it doesn't really show, given the sprite from the Game Boy, but in-game pictures. Anyway, we got a piece of heart. I'll shut up. Collect four and all to get an extra heart container. Check them and yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got our piece of heart, so we get two more before we get our next heart container. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't really dislike it about this game, but it's the odd thing about this game. It's re heart pieces are really few and far between until later in the game, so Let's see what you gotta say. The seasons of Holodrum are all in disorder. Spring, summer, what will come of it all? Even I cannot see. I can't I've completely screwed up his voice, never mind. How are we doing for time? Oh, looks like we're about 15 minutes. Do we have any rings to show Vasu? No. Oh well. Well, Next time, we are going to go talk to Bippin' and Boppin' about the Sun Link. And I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Miyokusfu. See you guys next time.